Hello and welcome to MIT USA. My name is Leo Valerio and I would like to introduce you to a new product that we just were challenged to develop. This is a 28 foot seamer. I'm standing next to the podium control here. The podium control has the monitor so that that way the operator can be able to visualize the weld as he's actually performing. He has it. a joystick to be able to maneuver the torch back and forth following his seam for any out of uh, synchronization that he may have. Also, we have the H HMI touch panel control here where you can actually program your weld schedule. You can program up to 50 weld schedules. The schedule is defined in one screen. You don't have to go back and forth to different screens. It's all right here. And um, we also have a manual pendant. Here we have the manual pendant for the operator. This is where he can actually jog different things. For example, there he can take his manual up and down. We have a total of four inches of clearance that he has provided so that he can be able to load that material in and out easily without marring the material or the tooling that's inside the, um, the manual. There you can see how much clearance we have. We also have the edge alignment devices. The edge alignment devices are actually activated in and out for flat sheets so that you can come up against a, a solid edge to be able to clamp. With the manual pin, the operator is allowed to make various adjustments for loading and unloading of his parts. Uh, here you can see the loader down at the end. That's the arm that allows him to be able to push the parts on and onto the machine. This loader arm was developed for the ability to be able to push the part off of the machine onto a conveyor or a cart of some kind. And you actually have a bumper right here by which you would be able to adjust to whatever diameter you're doing so that you can push the part from the edge onto the conveyor or cart, whatever it might be. You have various positions, three different positions that you can position this arm depending whether you want to push on the shell from the lower area, the mid area, or the upper area. We also have the um, load rollers. These are the load rollers that come up to a predefined position so that you can be able to load the skin. And now the, loader, the skin, the actual shell can be loaded through the front of the machine and pulled by the loader arm to be able to get it into position. Once you have it into position, then you can go ahead and bring in the other rollers. These ro rollers now will accommodate to the diameter of the part and then therefore be able, you, you're able to rotate the part into position to the center line of your weld. Once you have it there, you're able to bring the mandrel up. Here what we are showing you is that everything has been developed so that we mount as much as possible onto the machine, which pretty much is everything. Here we have the water cooler. The water cooler lines come out and go into the water cooling of the mandrel. We also have the gas for the uh, backup bar and that goes into the back of the gas backup bar. We have the hydraulics unit that's attached to the, to the machine. And also we have all of our high voltage and the step down transformers in all our AC distribution down below. On the opposite side, we have the Fronius power supply and also all the electronics that communicates and connects the whole system together. Well, that concludes our demonstration. Should you have any questions, feel free to contact us. Thank you.